There are warnings this morning that plans to replace rural post offices with counters in shops, petrol stations and even pubs could be bad news for customers and small businesses. Hundreds of branches are being replaced by what are called post office locals within other businesses. But the official watchdog, Consumer Focus, says there have been cases where the new style offices have run out of cash to pay benefits and pensions. The, the base product. This is lime putty. Jill Basically, Tesh demonstrating the process of making lime mortar. She and her husband manufacture the product from their home in rural Devon. With clients spread all over the country, a post office is vital to their small business. In 2007, 45 post offices in Devon were closed, including the one near Jill. It was replaced by a postal van that turns up for a few hours a day. If um, the post has gone at, at, at one, somebody phones up at two, they urgently need something the next day. Um, we, we can't say, well, I'm really sorry the post has gone, we'll send it out tomorrow. It's no good to them at all. So, yes, it, it can be a, a, a problem and it makes us less competitive. The challenges that Jill and her business face could soon be experienced by small firms all around the UK. In the new year, 2,000 rural post offices will close and be replaced by something known as PO Locals, like this one here in Starcross in Devon. It's a pub that also operates as a post office. But you can't, for example, post large parcels from here, deposit a cheque or pay car tax. All services the Federation of Small Businesses says small firms rely on. It will force many to endure the costs of travelling miles to a suitable post office. Because the post office local um, uses its own cash, it doesn't get daily deliveries of cash from Post Office Limited, then that means that we have found instances where these branches are rationing the amount of cash that consumers can withdraw. Now that's a potentially serious issue that can cause detriment, particularly for vulnerable and for elderly consumers. But the post office defends their plans, saying their own research shows the local model is popular with customers. 96% of our customers in the recent survey tell us they really love local post offices and it's an opportunity for us to keep post offices in communities where communities need those post offices. The post office says that many of the glitches with PO locals will be ironed out before they're rolled out next year. Marlene Said, BBC News.